Hello, I'm Bill Johnson, and I'm proud to represent the hardworking people of Eastern and Southeastern Ohio in Congress. A tradition dating back to the days of our first president, General George Washington, the National Day of Prayer is a day where we come together as a nation to ask for God's continued grace and guidance. It's a time when Americans can unite in one common cause, to pray to make America and the world a better place to live. As our founding fathers deliberated inside Independence Hall on what this new nation would be, they turned to God for direction and wisdom. The first prayer the Continental Congress prayed in 1774 stated, and I quote, Be thou present, O God of wisdom, and direct the counsels of this honorable assembly. Enable them to settle things on the best and surest foundation. As your voice in the House of Representatives, these words are always at the forefront of my mind, and they encourage me as we address the many difficult challenges facing America today and in the future. Prayer is so important to the continued success of our great nation. There is no greater example than when, on the morning of the D-Day invasion, President Franklin Roosevelt prayed publicly with the entire nation for our troops that were about to change the course of history forever. This prayer gave solace and comfort to a nation at war, which is why I have introduced legislation to have this prayer inscribed at the World War II memorial in our nation's capital. I urge the Senate to pass the bill and I urge President Obama to sign it into law. When our founding fathers created the United States of America, they created a nation founded on the concept of freedom of religion, not freedom from religion. The National Day of Prayer is an important reminder of the critical role that faith played in our nation's founding and the role that faith must continue to play if we're going to remain one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.